So I hope everybody uh, enjoyed about the one hour side event of the seventh forum, mm -hmm. HTI, Science, Technology, and also Innovations. So um, today we're going to focus about um, the side event, the topic, which is about metaverse mindset. So we focus on mindset. It's about the way how we think and we connect each other so that we can co-create and also co-learn, not just only on technology. And the uh, synergy will be using SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, for Sustainable no, Development Goals, it's about innovations. To the information in UN, the um, current status 9.5, okay, it's about innovations that on research and development is not too many. So we are going to focus on how to encourage ladies in technology and doing research. May I invite um, everybody to unmute yourself? So this is about the event. So you can see under the website of uh, Gracia Christian College and also in the UN official website of STI. And uh, this is uh, at the very beginning, you can see all the uh, side event and we are the only one invited by yeah. STI from Hong Kong. This is the agenda about one hour. All right, so we have four speakers and each one will be about 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. After all the speakers, they're presenting about how they involve with the metaverse mindset in the career, in their uh, maybe a future study or maybe social life reconnection. Mm -hmm. And then we have maybe one to two questions after that. This is my background. So uh, my background will be on three tiers. The first one will be about higher level, the UN level, UN OSSC, okay. UN SCI, UN Prime, UNESCO, different part. And the second part will be about my career is the teaching in business. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. May I invite some of you to unmute? And the third layer of my career will be about the so I involved with a lot of JCI and also World Trade Club uh, participation in the past uh, over 10 to 15 years. <laughs> okay, so the first part of my research uh, is about how to use the metaverse mindset. Because if you are just only have the industry uh, practices without academic theory to support, sometimes it's hard to convince people how are you going to launch and also with the storyboard behind. So in the past about two years, I published over about 24 books on SDGs for transformation and also metaverse. So the mindset is about four elements. Basically, it's the, the content. How are we going to digitize the content so that you can mobilize the resources and share the resources? And the second thing is about you need to immerse yourself and also maybe the participant to have a new kind of feeling how to reconnect each other virtue or maybe in reality. However, we also need to think about ethics, about cybersecurity. So on the left-hand side, the model is about metaverse mindset based on a lot of literature that I have read and using NVivo for the analysis. On the right-hand side, it's about technology education. Because for SDGs number four that I focused on, it's about 4.7 knowledge transfer. So we are going to have the metaverse mindset of today is how are we going to transfer the knowledge in different parts of the world by using innovations. So this is about four and also nine. So this is the first part of my research. Now we talk about transformations. So transformation, maybe you want to make some changes and based on Harvard Business Review, this is the quotation. What is the mindset of metaverse? will be about the four elements I just mentioned, digitize about the content, immerse yourself and also your stakeholder for joint and collaboration. And also we need to think about the new digital economy, how to generate new business or maybe new design of the product, just like Mr. Sung Young have been doing in the past about two years. And then with a the platform for 3D, okay. And uh, now we are going to talk about some good practices in Hong Kong. And uh, maybe we can learn from each other, or maybe after today's event, we can form a community, become the Metaverse Mindset members, and then we can co-create something. 
Now, the, the good practice number one, I want to show you. Uh, in the past about six months, I've been using the spatial I.O. to connect my student professor in all different parts of the world. You can go in the platform and upload maybe your research paper, your PowerPoint, your notes, your photos, your art, and then let them share. And this is a 3D platform so that people can understand more and we can have more collaboration, not just only using Zoom or maybe Google Meet. And I'm going to show you one, okay, uh, of the sample later on. Now, the second thing, uh, you can see one of our participants here today is a junior student, okay, from Hong Kong. Uh, Chris, do you want to say hi or wave? Okay, wave your hand, Chris. So Chris is only a junior secondary student and also working to, uh, with me. And uh, we produce the Momo Chris, the online game by using my painting and do the online map matching game. So this is about the game. And then we're going to uh, reconnect each other. And also on the right hand side, another good practice will be from Paul. Okay, Paul, you want to say hi to our participant? So Paul actually is the innovation management consultant. And then we're standing on the 3D platform for maybe a movie shooting. How are you going to connect the real person maybe in the platform in Hong Kong? And then at the background, maybe all different parts of the world, the scenery, you know, different cases. So that will be connect virtual with reality. And you can bring on new business and also for teaching for new business or maybe new uh, uh, like uh, art exhibition museum. Now, next one. It's about the uh, Popsicle NFT platform. And this is one of our speakers of today. If you have some drawings or research paper or maybe newsletter, anything, okay? As long as it's a very unique one, okay? With artifact, and then you want to share with others. You can use this NFT platform, not just in the open seas, but also this one, because they're using Hong Kong dollars about their transaction. So these are all my painting there. With the NFT, you can have another angle about marketing approach. So uh, I think Sam is going to share more on the NFT platform of Popsicle. So I just share about the three uh, good practices. How are we going to use the metaverse mindset? And this is one of the platform of Mr. Sung Yang from Beijing. And then it's SY Art. And now another thing using the metaverse mindset is how are we going to connect each other? for helping two big community. One will be youth. Youth unemployment in all over the world is going very high, especially under COVID-19. I think a lot of people need to transform and get a new business model. On the other side is about women, okay? Women's society, they lack the knowledge about technology, how they're going to transform. So we both focus on youth and also women. And uh, in our graduate Christian college, we established uh, the second one about Rotary Club let the youth, okay, the teenagers to be the leaders. And then we can be, okay, at the back as an advisor to help them how to do a lot of good practices by using the mindset of metaverse. So these are our uh, inauguration using virtue, okay. And then the, when I finish with the event of today after 10 o'clock, so I will send the link to all of you and uh, for a kind of survey, how are we going to keep on the dialogue after today's event? And uh, for our community, we can have a membership or we can share about the good practices, how you use the 3D platform, how you use spatial IO. So now uh, this is about almost the end. Now for our college, it's the first one with a high diploma in transformative business management. And we are the member for the UN Prime. Prime is the principle for responsible management education. So everything that we work on will be about UN principle. So under the mission of GCC, Gracia Christian College, these are the values. Especially we focus a lot on resilience. This is how to transform, how to make use of the resources that we have and make a second life or new life, All right? So these are the details. Now, uh, may I share the screen on the spatial IO and then I will be at the end of the first part and I will uh, pass the time to Mr. Sung Yang, okay? So let me uh, share the screen, okay?
Okay, now. This is one of the 3D platform spatial IO that I've been using for teaching purpose to engage the student professor uh, in all different parts of the world. And then if you type in SY, and then you can see a lot of templates I have already established. So first of all, you need to log in and then you establish the avatar there. And then the, if you put in the SY, This is the SY Metaverse mindset, all right? So by using this, you can share a lot of your knowledge and then to immerse yourself just like playing the game, all right? On the left-hand side, okay, you can see about our program and this is the avatar of me. And then you can imagine yourself go to the desert and then you can upload about your paintings Okay, these are my paintings that I learned from Mr. Sung Yang a long time ago on yoga. And then the, the research paper I just told you, already uploaded here for teaching purposes. It's just like a kind of exhibition. You want to share about your knowledge to others so you can use this one, all right? 